Right, welcome to Arse Trades. Here we are doing another video in this wonderful garden with this old period house. Look at that, look at the bricks. It's superb detail work. Yeah, I think we've done enough looking, haven't we? Right, I think so. Let's get back to work. Here we are, continuing on from digging out with the JCB, breaking up the concrete, shifting out of the way, and now instead of doing curbs, we're doing bricks along the edge. Uh, the Rashdown bricks, uh, a bit of a mixture. I think it's Bexhill Blooms or something, and a light kind of version of that. Um, it roughly matches in with the house along the wall. Bits of blue, bits of red. So we're looking for something quite rustic on the floor. Um, so it would be quite a nice contrast with the concrete, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to show you today how to lay these bricks to make a curb, as you can see. So the way I set it up is I take a line uh, from where we cut out along the, uh, the side of the garden. Um, I've set the height there, I laid the brick to that height so it just meets either just above or level with the garden and then I come down, come down here, go down here, I'll just set up around the brick here to set the height and that also meets flush with the garden as well and then I've wrapped the line around this lovely flower pin thing we have, very technical brick pin yeah, and then I place the brick on top and the line sits like that. Yeah. And then I'll literally run my run my bed out of four to one mix, sand and cement, and then lay my bricks. Right. Just show you now. So I keep having to uh switch my um my hats. One for YouTube, one for brick laying. And then the next day, plant hire and machines. So. Just be careful and take your time like that. Get it to the line. Look at the ground height as you lay it. If it's looking too high, obviously you just tap it down a little bit or bring it down over a course of maybe two or three or four bricks. So it looks fairly even because otherwise you'll get a brick that looks a bit like that or that and it doesn't really work. Um, when it comes to jointing up, uh, we leave it to go off a little bit in between the bricks and the joints, which are also called perps. Um, give it roughly, I don't know, maybe half an hour, especially on a warm day, maybe it'll go off quicker. So just something to look, uh, look for and remind yourself about. Uh, but when you touch it, it should be quite firm to touch. If it's wet and soft, too soft, then that's not the time to join. You want it nice and firm and fairly dry. Right, we'll get back to laying, because we won't make any money talking too much on YouTube. That's a pound there, no. <laughs> um, so look at that, see that? Works perfectly to the ground height still, so I don't need to pick that one up. And then I'll just keep working down the line all the way to the end and then I'll show you how to do a curve section. Okay. 